Hi hey everyone. Today I'm going to show you guys how to model a plane or a jet using Blender 2.61. So let's begin. We're going to start out with a cube. Um, let's switch to the front view by pressing 1. And then press tab to switch to the edit mode and press A to deselect everything. Then we're going to make a loop cut around the cube, a vertical cut, so press Control R to do that. Then left click, once you see the little pink vertical lines appear. And then um, you can move it around wherever you want to place it. Um, press right click, because we want it in the center, and right click basically puts it in the center. <clears throat> um, now we're going to press A to deselect that cut and then we're gonna press the wireframe button down here at the bottom so we can see some of the vertices behind some of the faces and then we're gonna press B to do a border select and I'm gonna select the four vertices on the left side over here once you do that press X to delete it and go to vertices and that'll leave you with half of the original cube so now we're going to add a modifier by going up here to the object modifiers tab and then we're going to add a mirror modifier um, this will be really helpful for um, basically so that you only have to model one side of the plane um, and the mirror will take care of the other side so uh, let's switch to the right view by pressing 3 I'm going to turn wireframe mode off and then um, press A to select the cube and then we're gonna press S for scale and then uh, Y to scale in the Y direction and I'm gonna pull that out a bit just like that um, and then um, we're gonna select this face on the back so go to face select mode down here at the bottom select this face here and we're going to press E to extrude and we're going to pull that out just a bit and then we want to scale that now notice that when you scale it it's going to split the two sides apart we don't want that so in order to avoid it we have to check uh, this checkbox right here that says clipping and that'll make it so they'll stay together so uh, scale that down a bit press G to grab and Z to grab in the Z direction and then pull that up a bit like that then um, with this face still selected go ahead and extrude that out just a little bit more just like that alright now let's switch to the front and select this face here and we're gonna extrude that out as well by pressing E and then we're going to press S to scale that down and then we're going to extrude it out again and then we're going to scale it down again just like that alright so this is going to be the main body of the plane uh, let's switch to the front view again by pressing 1 and then press Control R to make another loop cut in it and we're gonna do a, a horizontal loop cut right there and press right click again to center that cut and then now you've got an edge going all the way across the side there um, with it still selected um, press S to scale it and X to scale it in the X direction and then just pull that out a bit like that alright and uh, now um, switch to wireframe mode by pressing this button down here and then uh, press A to deselect that uh, edge on the side and then B to do a border select and we're gonna select right down the middle here to grab the main edge going around the uh, the top and bottom side of the plane um, again press S to scale and then Z to scale in the Z direction and pull that out a bit just to make the body of the plane a little bit more rounded um, 
after that. You can kind of, I, I usually apply a few tweaks here um, to the nose of the plane by uh, having edge select mode selected. And then um, I just select some of these uh, edges here and scale them down a little bit in the X direction. Just like that. And then I'll do uh, vertex select mode and uh, select this main vertex here and press G to grab it and Y to grab it in the Y direction. Pull it out a little bit just like that. Alright, cool. So now let's uh, add some wings. Um, I'm going to take wireframe mode off and then I'm going to select uh, face select mode and select this bottom face here. Uh, press 7 to switch to top view and then press E to extrude and X to extrude in the X direction and pull that out a bit just like that um, switch back to the front view by pressing 1 uh, notice that the end of the uh, wings here are uh, slanted so I want to strain that out so in order to do that I'll press S to scale X to scale in the X direction and then press 0 and that'll straighten that wing out. And um, now you want to switch to the right view by pressing 3. And um, press S to scale, Z to scale in the Z direction, and thin that out just a bit. And um, then I'm going to scale it in the Y direction. So S and then Y. And then thin it out just like that and then I'll switch to top view here and then press G to grab and Y to grab in the Y direction and pull the wings back um, if, uh, at this point you can kind of choose wherever you want to put the you know wings you can pull them back a bit more if you'd like or I don't know pull them forward <laughs> um, anyway so um, I'll put my wings uh, right here cool uh, now we're going to work on the back side of the plane. So let's select this top piece up here. Um, press E to extrude. And press Z twice to uh, extrude in the Z direction. And then pull that out a bit. And then... I'm going to switch over to edge select mode and select this edge, hold down shift and select this edge, this edge, and this one here. And I'm going to press G to grab it and X to grab it in the X direction and then I'm going to thin it out just a little bit, just like that. And then I'll just grab this edge right here and do the same thing. Just like that. <clears throat> then I'll switch back to face mode down here. And you know, select that face there. And I like to scale that in the uh, X direction as well a little bit. Um, just a minor change. And then um, I'm going to also scale this in the Y direction. Like that. And then I'm going to grab it with G in the Y direction and pull it back just like that <clears throat> alright and then now I want to grab this face down here uh, switch to the top view again and press E to extrude it and then we're gonna press X to extrude in the X direction pull that out do the same thing we did to the wings in the front. Um, uh, we want the uh, the wings to be straight there, so we'll press S and then X and then zero. And then do the same thing we did to the front, basically. So scale it in the Z direction, scale it in the Y direction, And then switch to the top view, grab it, and pull it back in the Y direction. Just like that. And then um, 
And now we want to um, add a cockpit. So we'll select this face up here. Press E to extrude and Z twice to extrude in the Z direction. And pull that up and scale it down a little bit to round it out. And then you can apply a couple of tweaks here by selecting some of the edges and uh, pulling them in a little bit. Just like that. Or scaling them down, just however you want to do it. Cool. Alright, so um, once you've done that, you can. Um, we're going to add another uh, modifier. So go up to uh, Add Modifier and go to Subdivision Surface. <coughs> and that's going to round it out a bit. Um, if you. If you notice, um, this has happened to me a few times, sometimes it doesn't happen, but um, when you do the subdivision surface, sometimes you'll get this little pinched area up here. In order to fix that, um, switch over to face select mode and select this inside face right here. Then press X and go to faces and that'll delete that face and it'll fix the little pinched area at the top. Alright, so now that we've uh, add, added the subdivision surface, our wings are kind of messed up. So we're going to fix that by adding loop cuts to them. So press Control R and add a loop cut. Um, oh. Press Control R and I'm going to add a loop cut uh, going this direction here. And then just pull it in, add another loop cut in this direction and pull it back a bit <coughs> and add one more loop cut place it right there and pull that up and then select that vertice there um, press G to grab it and Z and pull that up just to make the wings on the front a little bit thicker than the part than the back side of the wing and uh, now we're going to pretty much do the same thing to the little wings on the back. So again, do a loop cut, put it right there, pull it down against the body, add another loop cut in the opposite direction and pull it back a bit. <coughs> and then one more at the top side over here. And um, pull that down just like that. Cool. So, um, once we've done that, we can um, go ahead and switch over to the object mode tab, and then press apply on the mirror and apply on the subdivision surface, and there you go. You've got yourself a neat little plane. Um, and um, here I'll add another light here, uh, selecting the main light, pressing Shift D to duplicate it, pull it out this way. We'll switch to the camera view, <coughs> just like that. And you can either select the plane and scale that down, or you can select the camera and um, oh, select the camera, press G to grab, and then hold down uh, the mouse three button and pull it out a bit just like that. Oh, and uh, one other thing, you can actually smooth it out over here by pressing smooth if you want to make the plane look a little bit uh, neater, I guess. And uh, that's pretty much it. That's how you make a plane, and um, you can go from there, you can get creative, you know, you know, do a couple of changes, you know, add some color. Um, so that's it. Thanks for watching, guys.